Democratic State Senator Angela Williams introduced the bill this week that would abolish the death penalty in Colorado. If the bill is passed, it will not directly affect the sentences of the three men currently on death row. However, Governor Polis has said that he would sign the bill and would consider commuting the death sentences currently being served. Uh, Eric, we just went through the differences of what uh, Governor Hickelooper and Governor Polis would be. This is in bold uh, type right here. Hickelooper so told these folks, hey, I was going to veto it, so it never came back up. Now it at least has a, a, a clear shot to the governor's desk if it can get there. Do you think it will? Yes, I think it will get there. Uh, maybe you thank Jared Polis for giving Colorado the discussion of the death penalty that John Hickenlooper promised us way back in the uh, Nathan Dunlap era. Uh, quite frankly, I think we are at a point when we ought to have that discussion and we ought to resolve this issue of the death penalty one way or the other and not the Hickenlooper way, which was just to put it on ice, put it on a holding pattern and kick it down to the road to the future governor. In this case, Jared Polis, but it could have been Walker Stapleton, could have been one of uh, Polis's primary opponents or whomever. Uh, I do believe that this bill is likely to go through the legislature. I think you can add it to the list of conservative grievances that Patty mentioned in, in the last round, uh, along with guns and oil and gas and popular vote and maybe medical and family leave and the list of sex education uh, and the list goes on. Rhonda Fields, Democratic State Senator, occupies a rather unique position here as the mother of um, a, a murder victim who's the perpetrator of uh, that crime being on death row now. Uh, and the Democrats need to treat Senator Fields a lot better, and Jared Polis needs to treat her a lot better and with a lot more respect and attention than has been the case so far. Pat, it's one thing to be in favor of abolishing the death penalty. It's another to commute these three sentences. Where do you think it's going to go? I think this is also going to go onto a ballot before we're done. It's been 40 years since we really had the last referendum on this. We need to definitely take Colorado's temperature on how people are feeling in general on the death penalty. Rhonda Fields actually spoke at Hickenlooper's rally last night, and so she's getting respect in some corners, but I think this is such a hot button issue for people, and if it does sail through the legislature, which it looks like it might, people in Colorado are going to want to vote. So we are coming up on a very contentious ballot soon. David, wrap it up for us. Well, as you say, two of the three people on death row currently are the people who murdered Senator Field's son and, and his fiance, and the other guy is, is somebody who killed a bunch of people while robbing a Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I, I think the death penalty is very just in all three cases. Uh, some people have a philosophical objection. As Patty said, we had a referendum on it in 74 where the voters were for the death penalty. Another one in 66 where the voters for the death penalty. This is the exact kind of sort of broad moral issue uh, that you should put uh, to the people. 